Okay, I just thought I'd do a video responding to the lies of King's Table. He did a video about me about a few months back. It was called uh, So Much Stupidity, Where to Begin. And he totally twists what I was camp coming out in my video about the health risks of interracial marriage. And just like a Pharisee, he tries to entangle me in my talk. Now, obviously, I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm far from Jesus Christ. I'm just a dirty old sinner saved by grace. But what he does is that he does the same thing the Pharisees did. He tries to entangle me in my talk, and he tries to... He, he, sets up, he sets up a straw man argument, basically to try to discredit my two videos. Uh, and what, what he does is that, because my two videos were not about Bible doctrine, they were merely health related videos. So he tries to set up a straw man argument to discredit the videos and try to make me out some kind of hypocrite or whatever. Typical of these liars, they, they will just twist your words as fending a right cult. But I'm gonna uh, get to the video, to full screen. There's two timestamps I want to cover. The first one is about eight minutes in. He sets up his straw man argument, then later he goes more into it and totally lies about what I was saying. And you know, obviously he's being sarcastic, but he's a liar. Okay, let's watch this. He knows all. He knows exactly what they're doing. And then he he criticized Tony about using like old church people's writings and what they thought about a certain situation. Well, that's just man's thing. That's just man's thing. But when he talks about interracial marriage, and he brings out government documents. Government documents. Okay, Frankie boy, let me explain to you why I brought out government documents. Okay? Because the government documents contain studies, scientific studies. Okay? See, something that Frank seemed to maybe have overlooked is that my video, and yes, I am being sarcastic because King's Table is a liar. He's a deceiver. He's not saved. And he's, he's just blatantly lying about what I was saying. And I'm not saying that lightly. You know, I, I don't want to just be this kind of person who just calls everybody lost under the, under the sun or whatever. I don't want to be like a Denlingerite, essentially. But these Fenningerites, I have no doubt they're lost. Because, why? They deny calling upon the name of the Lord. They just got all these weird heresies. Okay? You deny calling upon the name of the Lord, you're lost. Just that plain and simple. You deny prayer for salvation, you're lost. You're denying what scripture says for salvation. So that's why I'm calling him lost. Not because, oh, I'm just angry and bitter at him. No. He's lost because he's denying the gospel. And let it be a curse, according to Galatians chapter 1, verses 8 to 9. But basically, my videos, okay, I'm going to explain to this to uh, Frankie boy here, my videos were about health, health related subjects. They were not doctrinal videos, okay? So the government documents that I brought out contain studies, statistics, facts, okay? But it seems that socially liberal minded heretics like Frank don't like the facts, apparently. But I wasn't using government documents to determine scriptural doctrine. You see, what his little buddy Tony was doing was he was using church fathers to somehow determine what the Godhead was, the biblical Godhead. Because of course they're Trinitarians, which, you know, if you're a Trinitarian, I'm not saying you're lost, okay? Uh, the Trinity is true in the sense of there is a distinction in the Godhead, however, where they go wrong is saying there's three different persons. That's not true. God is one person, not three persons. He's one person made of a body, soul, and spirit. Which is something these these Trinitarian uh, heathens over at the Fenningite cult don't like for some reason, but uh, not my problem, quite frankly. but. Basically, I was doing my, I said that, you know, hey, the early church fathers, what they, because this Catholic mentality of, oh, the early church fathers, what did they say? I don't care what they said, okay? Their writings don't mean anything when it comes to determining doctrine. So, that was my whole point. But Frank sets up this little straw man argument, just like any fending right, they have a little straw man argument they come up with. Oh, well, you're using government documents, so, you know, yo, what a hypocrite you are. Yeah, to show health risks. What, it wasn't to determine doctrine. That's a big difference. Big difference between using studies, scientific studies to show health, health related subjects, and then using, because he's, he's making it seem like I'm using government documents to determine biblical doctrine, the fact that interracial marriage is a sin. Okay? He said, see, it's a straw man argument. He's trying to just totally lie and twist my words, but what do you expect from old Frankie boy here? King Devil's Table, that's what I call him. Next timestamp is 49 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, 49 or is it 40, 49 minutes and 14 seconds? Sorry, I, I think I had the wrong timestamp. I'll start there. 
Right, Steve Cousin Evans? Right, Sean? <laughs> because the government told you that. The government did. Not the church fathers. The government told you. You've got to believe the government. The government says, you are lost. <laughs> you have sickly children. What's with this really weird awkward pause? I just I've noticed that a lot of these Fenninger these Fenningerite cultists, a lot of them have this really weird awkward pauses in a lot of their videos. Really, really bizarre. I mean, never understood it, but I don't know. I mean, like you watch the videos, you'll just notice they'll say something, they'll pause for like twenty seconds, and then say something else. It, it is, it really is bizarre. I just have to point that out because I've noticed this over and over and over again. Really, really strange. But continuing. <laughs> Oh, yep, right. laugh it up, Frankie boy. Keep laughing. You know, you'll learn someday. You you can laugh all you want, but you won't be laughing at Jesus Christ when he comes back. Classic. If you are married, a Chinese, if you are white, you will have sickly children, and they will die, and they will not be getting saved because they'll be harder to save. Now you see Frankie Boy's back to his old strawman arguments. What he's doing is he's trying to, again, make it seem like I'm using government documents to determine doctrine. No. See, he's lying to his viewers, okay? My video, again, was purely about health-related subject. It had nothing to do with, with determining doctrine. And I never said that, oh, the government says you're lost or whatever. See, he has to create this false argument, this fake argument, and then try to tear me down because of that. See, this is what these Fenningerites do. They lie, they twist scripture, they twist your words. They're of their father, the, de the uh, devil. He'll twist your words, he'll take you out of context. That's what they're doing. And it's funny too, just like any liberal out there, just like any social liberal atheist out there, Frank isn't even bothering to actually read the studies I posted. Because it, because it would kind of contradict his heresy. Well, not really heresy, but false doctrine. Because heresy is, is a bit more serious than that. Uh, you can you can believe interracial marriage is fine and, and not be a heretic. Heresy is a lot more serious than just simply false doctrine. Okay, that's what I've been taught. But basically, you can believe a false doctrine and still be still be uh, saved, obviously. But it's funny how he basically was um, not even going through my studies, just like any atheist out there, just like any lost social liberal atheist out there. Just oh oh like oh you you brought out these studies. Oh you're such a racist or whatever. How would you actually go through them and refute them? You can't, because they're actually scientifically proven studies. And no, it's not science falsely so-called, as uh, per 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, I believe it is. It's actually, the sources are given in the studies. But you see, Frank is not going to show his viewers that, because it would contradict his false doctrine that interracial marriage is okay, and, and you know, because what's the ultimate goal of interracial marriage? And, I, and I'm done here, by the way. But what's the ultimate goal of interracial marriage? It's forced amalgamation. It's going to lead to the Antichrist kingdom because the Antichrist, how is he going to make everyone take the mark of the beast? How is he going to cause the whole world, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to take the mark of the beast? You can't do that if they're all separated in their own habitation. You have to bring them all together in a one world government. You know, like in Genesis chapter 11, verses 6 to 9, uh, or for the whole chapter of Genesis chapter 11, the separation began in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6 to 9. But in Genesis 11, all the world came together to build a tower to heaven, which is a good, interesting typology of work salvation, trying to earn your way to heaven, trying to build your way to heaven. That's what essentially what work salvation is. So it's a good typology of work salvation. But they all came together. And what did God do? He was angry and he separated them in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6 to 9. In Genesis chapter 10, verses uh, 1 to 5, God determines the bounds of the habitation of Japheth, which includes white people, and then also with Shem and Ham. He determines the bounds of the habitation in Genesis 10. It's that simple. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 7 to 8, God says he separated the sons of Adam and divided the nations their inheritance, and he set the bounds of the people. This is reiterated again in Acts chapter... Sorry, it's so hot in my room right now. That's why I'm so sweaty right now. It's reiterated in Acts chapter uh, 17, verse 26. Where it says God has, where it talks about God has set the bounds of their habitation. That simple. 
God likes separation. He likes distinction. He likes, you know, the the differing. He, he likes diversity in the sense of he likes diversity and separation, basically. And also the, the lie that, oh, there's only one race, the human race. That's taken from Galatians 3.28, totally out of context. Okay, the context is about how a Jew is not saved different than a Gentile. That's basically it. But it contradicts his heresy, that, or false doctrine, sorry, that interracial marriage is okay, the serious sin of interracial marriage. I mean, just read read Ezra chapter 10. Read, read uh, Nehemiah 13. Clearly condemns interracial marriage. Read, read Ezra chapter 9. I mean, read the whole book of it. Read the whole book of Nehemiah. It's condemning interracial marriage all through the thing. And no, Ruth is not an exception, that you know, kind of stuff. You read the book of Ruth, it's talking about land inheritance. I could just go on and on and on about that. But bottom line is, is that Frankie's a liar. Little Frankie boy, uh, devil's table, he's a liar. He'll twist your words, he'll lie about you. Typical. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.